we've got a little over uh, 200 volts and that's DC we got two light bulbs lit up here uh, we have four microwave oven capacitors hooked up in parallel but when we did four of them uh, the light bulbs were flickering quite a bit we had to throttle the, the power supply up just gradually to get it to stop flicking so we unhooked uh, all th three of the microwave oven capacitors that were in parallel so we only have one of them that's actually extracting uh, energy from uh, this is the device here based on Ed Gray's work this is the uh, spark gap tube Ed Gray called it his conversion tube Stan Myers called it his electron extraction unit and that's the waveform here uh, let me see if I can change that a little bit. I guess that's what you got. Now I turn the power down a little bit. That's the normal waveform. If they can slow that down here. That's normally what you're seeing. Uh, the light's still lit up. Power is still a little over 200 volts. And the frequency. strange is below 60 cycles which is what's powering this unit so it's all over the sky and we're only running uh, what is that yeah not even 75 volts once we turn the voltage up you're gonna see the uh, let me see here it's still fairly stable but not like we were seeing here a minute ago so power supply is all the way up to 115 volts and it's still stable so what we did we took the spark gap uh, apart uh, we were getting thermonic uh, electron emission last test we basically put a conductor between the half inch stainless steel tube and the three quarter inch stainless steel tube so all the electrons that are being emitted onto the half inch stainless tube uh, are going directly to the outer uh, three quarter inch tube and then that we're extracting those electrons into the uh, light bulb into the capacitor and then it's going right to earth ground from there so let me see I'm going to turn this power off here and you're going to see let's turn the lights down the light dies and what it'll do we're turning it up now from zero they go up to over 500 volts before it starts. Bulb is not started yet. It's just starting to flicker. You see the light bulbs just starting to flicker. They're lit up. Now it'll stay up over 500 volts until we turn the power up a little bit more. We're going to turn up. Okay, we just gradually turn it up enough. Yeah, it's sitting. Yeah, it's sitting right about. What is that? 75, about 85 volts before we got it to drop the voltage down from over 500 volts. Uh, now what we're going to do is turn the power supply all the way up and you see it got brighter there. But the power remained right down here. So what you're seeing is electrons that are being extracted from the spark gap, from the spark itself. Uh, they're being emitted to the half inch stainless steel tube which is a, a basically a grid like Ed Gray had patented on his system and those electrons are going directly to the outer three-quarter inch stainless steel tube and we have electrical connection from there to the light bulb uh, and then from the light bulb goes right to the earth ground now those two light bulbs are actually in series uh, yeah. we're running two four uh, foot stainless uh, fluorescent tubes in series with each other and then they're going to earth ground. We have the capacitor in parallel with uh, the light bulb assembly. So the capacitor is in series, uh, or is in parallel with the light bulbs that are in series with each other. And then a the capacitor is also in series with, uh, or in parallel with the ground. So there you have it. <clears throat>